If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. The Other Current Assets account type tracks assets your company expects to use up or convert into cash in the next year. Other current assets might include short-term notes receivable or prepaid expenses. Your inventory account is an example of another current asset. Let's take a prepaid rent other current asset account as an example. Assume you signed an agreement to lease a new office space for $1,000 per month. Also assume you must prepay six months worth of rent before you can move into the new office space. If using the accrual accounting method, you must attribute expense to the period it is incurred, not when you actually pay it. So you would not want to simply write a check for the next six months worth of rent and attribute the entire amount to the rent expense account for the month in which you wrote the check, as that will not accurately reflect when the rent expense is actually incurred. Instead, you use the other current asset account of prepaid rent to help show the rent expense as it is actually incurred. To check if the prepaid rent account exists, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar and then click the Chart of Accounts link to open the Chart of Accounts page and find the prepaid rent asset account. If no prepaid rent account exists, click the New button in the upper right corner to create the account. For its account type, select the Other Current Assets choice. From the Detail Type drop-down, select Prepaid Expenses. Enter a name for the account, like Prepaid Rent in this example. Optionally, enter an account number if enabled and a description for the account into the respective fields. Then click the Save and Close button. To then write a check to the landlord for the $6,000 rent prepayment, click the plus new button in the navigation bar and then click the check link under the vendors heading in the menu to open the check window. Select the name of the landlord from the payee dropdown. Select the prepaid rent account from the first rows category column dropdown in the category details section. In the Amount column, enter 5000. For the next row, select the Rent and Lease Expense account from the Category drop-down and enter 1000 as its amount. This shows the first monthly payment to your Rent and Lease Expense account and shows the amount prepaid for the next five months' rent. You can print the check by clicking the Print Check link. Then click or select the Save and Close Choice from the drop-down button in the lower right corner of the window to save it and close the window. The next month, you can create a monthly recurring journal entry for the next five months, crediting $1,000 from the prepaid rent account and debiting the rent and lease expense account in the period it is actually incurred. This decreases the prepaid rent account each month until the prepayment is used up. The Rent and Lease Expense account then properly shows when the rent expense is incurred. The journal entries then record the rent expense for the next five months instead of writing a check each month. The next lesson shows how to record a journal entry to remove value from an other current assets account using this prepaid rent example. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.